Okay. Um. Yeah, that happened. We were three hours in and the, the most it fucking broke. Miss <laughs> Wei's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. seem to make sense. Will you be cross the witness's testimony? You said I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. I know what to press. I know what to do. from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Er, er, now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, you who told the story you were absolutely perfect. I will refrain from using this phrase tonight. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new test. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, okay. The witness is confused because. I emphatically request that there be no break. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White. Okay. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then turned and ran to the door. Then you hit her in with a single blow. Thwack! I love making them sweat. Hmm, thwap indeed. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. He knew he fucked. He should have known he fucked up. Um, let's see, I looked up through the window when I heard that thing fall. Hold it! You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, uh, that. Um, the glass light stand. Right. The one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix. There's something about that strike he was on. Yeah, very odd. Mr. White. Huh. What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand. Y yes change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, the bad. Witness the revised testimony. Okay, okay, of course. A light stain was lying on the floor when I looked. Objection! Sorry, bud. Mr. White?
dinner. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the four plans of the scene of the murder. Yes? Indeed. Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Uh, er, velocity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't be able to see it after it fell. Uh. Fell, either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law office. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Mr. White? Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I... I... Miss me... <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our... Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White? I think the time has come. What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wire tap. The wire tap? Correct, my Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law. This is when I saw that cursed light stand. Really? Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White can use the glass stand in the city office. He has shown that there is only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would likely have believed that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place, when he went to place the wire. He could have seen the glass white stand in bed. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. <laughs> Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wire tapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I 
I feel faint. The wire tapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fanco Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wire tap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Correct! That is right. He reminds me of Doug Dimodome. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross again. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. The wire tapping. Yeah, of course. Objection! Ms. Ethel may need the details of Ms. Faye's co phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Oh, right. Hold it! Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Ms. May? Objection! Unidentified fingerprints of the old were found in the Faye and Co. office. Those were obviously Mr. Wright's, and if I know Edward, he's already going to check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the bank or law offices. Of course I had done so to place the wire, but why? Why did you tap me his phone? Objection! That has no- this has no bearing on the current case you are. The court was a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on you. Such a cretaceous thing deserves attention, does it not? That's it all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's raw enough that I can bluff him. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Y yes Your Honor. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. M M Mia! <laughs> where... where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally here. Ah! <laughs> hey, Phoenix! It's a cool name, though. Phoenix. Mia! Gak? There's no, that's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. God, I love Mia's outfit. So cool. You're Maya? You still look and have strong psychic powers. When you accepted your feet in court, it appears that was enough for the shock to live in Maya's powers. So, Maya's channel. Mia. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me. Phoenix, Maya never did that. You can't either. That's what I came here to say. Listen, you don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Huh? 
September 4th. Uh, September 4th. That's right, I bought that stand the, the day before I was killed. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the core is about to reach the Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent, and now you just have to prove it. Right. Let's do this shit. September 9th, 1.16 p.m., District Court, courtroom number one. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather... Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you that this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. You may begin your cross-examination. at this. See the word Maya written on, in blood. <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Well, a glass white stain and the date of white White, that's the day before the murder. Mr. White, can you allegedly enter Stan Co. Law Offices at the beginning of September? The Stan could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. It's impossible. Uh oh. Well, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure. But I think you'll agree you can't just be guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... OBJECTION! Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh? What? No way can he work his way out of this thing. Oh, wait. I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claim. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into his matters. Another inquiry? This is one of the updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up empty for his reasons. Bad. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Well, Mr. Edwards? If anyone's going to call Mr. White's trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these two claims have any basis in factual evidence. Let's see. Objection to that. What? 
right? Damn. Please show the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until the No. There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. I think it's true. Come up with the force to make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me all. Mr. Your Honor. May I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Yeah. The witness will stay. M Mia? Phoenix? Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is right on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Take that! The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance. Famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please! Stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt. Right here. Right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with... The Thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Edwards does not look happy. Ooh, that was that one felt good. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Well, the court finds the defense, and rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. got revenge for her. We got the true culprit. Uh, being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia? Yeah? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Yeah? your face. Mia. What are you talking about? Me, Maya. Oh, Maya. What? Did I look like my sister? Like, you were her. I might be able to use that. Oh, it's Phoenix. Go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Huh? She needs the office. This office. Someone has dealt with new right and co-law offices, right? And who better but me? My affair reporting to duty. Wait, no. On second thought, I'm like this casual. Yo, Nick! Why are you here? Ready to get down to business? You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Nick has had that for your friend Larry. Nick. You know what this means. 
partners. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co-law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. <laughs> why is it... Why is that still emotional? I'll always be here. Watch it. I'm not crying. Cry. You're crying. Right. Okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on. Time's a wasted. Right. Okay, wait up. The end. For episode two. Ah, you have disgraced me for the last time. Steel Samurai, the pale moon in the sky, cries for your blood. The moon? No. It is you who should gaze upon the moon. It will be the last moon you ever see. Go to hell, evil magistrate. October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Right and Co. Law Offices. That rock! See you in hell, you can imagine. Whoa, stop getting that broom around. Oh, hey, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. I think that's some real show you were watching. What? Nick, you mean you don't know the steel camera? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, can you help? So what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Can you watch it with me? It's really cool. And it's really popular. When they ask great school kids what they want to be, it's still kind of like, I really worry about kids these days. Me too, Phoenix. Me too. Grant. Well, the samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Since we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16th, 8.14 a.m., Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Hello, this is Phoenix. Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. I, it's, it's still Samurai. It's still Samurai got arrested. Huh? You mean the guy in that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain. Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with his samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was dressed yesterday. Powers played the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who played the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His 
body was found still inside the evil man's body. The samurai spear was also found stuck in the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The samurai is over. The world is over. Yes, right until law offices. What? Nick, it's a samurai. What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Beep. Let's go, Nick. Go. Go where? But you have to steal samurai down to detention. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. Sorry, what? Well, what do we do? What should we do? We can't just sit there like that. We have to get down to the detention center and meet the still samurai. If you want to investigate this case, you can do some sightseeing, I wonder. My money's on sightseeing. If you don't have enough information to make the case yet, just admit it. If you don't have a clue, what happened. No! We just don't have enough information. What's up, Wolverine? <laughs> What's wrong, Mai? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you saying? Um, yes? Something wrong? No, no, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? You're disappointed? Oh, no, oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the still samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. wonder what they think of the steel samurai now. <laughs> Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah, he didn't do it. Maybe you could start from telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was only yesterday. The task had come down to Global Studios for a month. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal with schedule for 5 in the afternoon. With 5 in the round, the staff gathered at the studio.
Global Studios. I'll join you on that. Wow, okay. Here we go. I'm going to bed 10 bucks she asks for autographs. Old bag. Hold on, there's a uh, trophy to do with old bag in this one. Okay. No, there's no uh, trophies here. Wow! This is the Samurai show. Awesome. Aren't you excited? Hey! You there! You want in? You gotta go through me. Great. Oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Used today. Something horrible happens when all these things. Oh, yep. No, no. Um, Nick. Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! This one you're being spoken to. Used today. What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. So, what do you do here at Studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dream come true. In fact, in my younger days, you know, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here and I'm afraid here and here. Wow. This place has been, this place has really gone downhill, you know? But ten years ago, now that now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then too. He was Hammer. The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. These two are just playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with, but villains are the best ones to play. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on that on the silver screen without him, believe me. Little old ladies watching him lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the skilled samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers, of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Now you've heard of that? Look, there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. He used to playing the villain on a children's program. Playing the villain is the best role you could possibly have in anything. It was fun to play. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make him cry. Why are you so certain Powers is, kill is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday. I was I was here from one in the, in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. 
So if you want to do this video, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 in the emergency place. And that person was Mr. Powers. Yes, I saw him. Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. It's about time for you to be heading home. There's nothing to see here. Move along. I'm actually here to get Mr. Powers' request. <laughs> I thought you were suspicious, Kevin. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Hello, how is the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Um, about the security guard that made the dates to the studio. Oh, uh, security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Little bubble thing. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me. Took off that mask for her words, I believe. She sucks up up to all the big women in the studio. Let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. She's got some nerve. You can write up a letter for her. told me himself. Hey, hey Nick. Huh. There are maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go. 50 cents! 50 cents for a map? Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? Uh, it's that confused detective. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's all your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Um, d detective? <laughs> I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I- I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame all the people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Why did I make him Southern? <laughs> hey, don't- hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Hey! Hey, you can't just go around saying power like that. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. So how's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Yeah. I think you need to be a little more direct with your questions. Right. So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? 
the autopsy report. The latest version is the greatest. Right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Not like yet. October 15th at 10.30 p.m. Here's the suspect. Why was this car was arrested? Simple, pal. There's a place right over there in the studio one. Now, the victim entered studio one at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. Going to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Oh, one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. That person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady. Nick, if that's true. Anyone would think Powers did it with Would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we just talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said? She's a sucker for authority. But lawyers are authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. Of course she did. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that a photo. The photo of the still samurai hidden towards the scene of crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up there on that, that gate, pal? The gate. You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo. Right? Oh no. Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny. For some reason, it was hard proof this is too happy. What's wrong, pal? Sit down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh! <laughs> um, you'd like to ask me a few questions? Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any things I haven't already done. <laughs> I like them, too. I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now we're chance to check these out. Station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? <laughs> she had to make my life harder by giving me that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why did you tell us about the security photo, man? <laughs> oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are, these things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took the photo. It is my job to check the photos every day, you see. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. You can tell when someone walks through the gap that gate, you see. Then it snaps a photo. Apparently it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over there in the security desk. I check them every day before going home, I do. The guard station is in a certain position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, for Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I've seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not, if he's not the one that did it, what did it, I don't know who is. Maybe he was you. <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim of Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Oh, yes, he was... Great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He's shown the brightest back in the day. If you start like him play the evil magistrate, it's a disgrace, I tell you. Come on, villain. Villains are fun to play. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Right, well. Huh. Nick! This is 
where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Powers' dressing room. No one, no one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone is probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the tea on one of the plates. Nice steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? The metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right. Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. Don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes, it a lot of easy, makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Or just to make a commute? Powers' dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Ooh, this is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. How do you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kinda like samurai movies. Kinda? Hmm, this must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. That must be Powers'. Is that Studio One? Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean, borrow. Anything else in here? I wonder what else is in the side powers of the bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. Oh my god. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. There are some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one, myself. Looks like someone was sleeping here. May Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Check it out, man. Okay? I want to just talk to you. 
Quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so. so real. Well, the able magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you! No touching that. Ah, um, sorry. My partner's kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm, I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP. I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Can you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio is doing so well right now. I guess there was only the rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room was. That's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go to his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of girl do you think I am? What, no, what kind? No, no, no. I'm sure you're a fine girl. Uh, sorry. So I'm getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If he was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. Who? Oh, a lead. Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. Sense? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe. No, no, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action uh, scene right here. I was the only to be that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that be really a Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information. No, thanks. That helps. Us, that helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. So you sense that someone other than regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think it doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came to the studio, she must have seen them. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on their mother cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. This girl's out there. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with the tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing and would leave a leak and make a huge blood stain. Guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real live megaphone. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl's 
more trouble than I thought. What's this? That's the reflection light. They call it a reflection screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I didn't want to be the director. Or maybe the steel samurai. I think she's being serious. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost them. Yeah, so don't touch it. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. It must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain. Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right. You're still here? Really, you look as though you've seen a ghost. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that power is the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be, but we have witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eek! Alright, sorry, tell me and tell me quick, you spiky head cretin. Someone's been... Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her, she's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouth like... Nope, 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 nope. nope. She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Okay, let's give her a try. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. 
Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, well, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So we're done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lead? Shit, fuck, I was supposed to be reading all of that. Sorry, guys. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir, I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout in the studios. This here is the employee area. The actors should run through their action scenes are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, on October 16th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant with powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All of the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, was once. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio, studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found, lo found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? Absolutely not. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai spear adds to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Alden. So just call me Grandma. I'm back with my name. So you can help me. Help me. Objection! Uh, objection! I, I object to the witness talking to this. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stage. So it's just getting to the good part. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, the guy was! As we get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know yourself, Gary. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. On the day 
of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was fun when I got to the guard station. the defendant then hmm. very well let's begin the cross-examination mr right yes your honor Pony! so up until that time anyone who wanted to get wanted to could go into the studio well there wasn't a security guard gate no but the main gate was locked here to this picture. Let me get this straight, old bag, or Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? Well, you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? In just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Old bag. Is this for Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Did your mama teach you any sense, son? I don't complain if she has powers. Right? 
No, they can't. Um, well, I mean, I love it. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss. having trouble calling her old bag. However, you do not have the proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. You know, old man. Of course I have proof. God damn it. <laughs> even, even Edward is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old, the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know you ever would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. We're just doing our job. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, you know? He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old Wingdag has left even Edward speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. I need water. So much fucking reading. Uh. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through of their action I saw Power strip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that face. You can see he's dragging his leg. That's how I knew it was power. Happy? That's still not good evidence. Hmm, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. He's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. We've heard enough, haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me, which is, where is this steel samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. 
The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it's clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Pallet. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there. We keep, we keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Pallet. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not calling camera for the kill for camera. We have to consider that possibility also. Now allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will witness will witness continue her testimony, please? I need to ask twice. The time of Warhammer's death was 213. The only person I saw go to the shield before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. by the witness. That's right, so... You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy. I just... Hold him back to his balls. photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh, you know, if you wanted to work in the studio, you might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., photo 2. Mm. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, son. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo 2. Photo 2? 
The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this be photo one? Shouldn't this photo be photo one if it was if it really was the only photo? <laughs> Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Put the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't understand these new things. Um, edgy boy, well... Huh? Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. <laughs> so help you are. You're a ripper snapper too. Whipper? Whipper snapper. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the still samurai. Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could that way. Ah, I see. Your testimony, please. other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Don't think that now I have to throw out one photo that day. M Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right, anyway, Mr. Wright, please get begin cr the cross-examination. Well, I said this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> right? The other person. No one else could get in. I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. At least outside, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And they're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? So, on the photo that you erased, it was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Great. What? <laughs> Let me get this straight. You just thought two people passed by the gate on the way to the video center. I'm just still standing right there. The other was a boy who went to the 
Stop him, can't catch him. Avoid second or third grade. I see too far as not possible. Far young boy will be the samurai spirit. Impossible, I think. Quite heavy. Right, as I said, I get paid much money. That's why I report. But wouldn't you be back up? And they're always trying to unsuspect me. The court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. I never do. <laughs> I'm the defense, for God's sake. Bowers? Yes? Tell me straight. Where do you believe you're dressing? You didn't go to the studio. I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. Just Samurai and us I know. The Steel Samurai costume is off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Either. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone wanting to go to the Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this lead to? It doesn't look good. We can only like these best friends right now. First, we play for more time. We'll start talking to someone else that could have that could conceivably have done this. Right. And they'll take so long to get down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. So it sounds very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. person who could have committed this crime. Who? The Steel 
samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left the post to steal the steel samurai cup. Let's flip to the studio one, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai cup? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Ray. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. <laughs> suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible with poor Hammer? That's a good question. You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the street? The boy, the one whose photo I have with. He's only a grade schooler, though. As you said, second or third grade, was it? But does it matter? When I was that age, I could pick my old man in ten seconds. Top. Hmm. You thought, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Or is it... Or is it be nice for the kids to be mean to your elder state with your snap? I have proof. Off, it's heavy. Take that! Your Honor, the murder weapon was the samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness carry comment on this? No. The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. <laughs> then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. <clears throat> Wait a second. I'm not going to sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. Oh great, stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. This old bag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh, you mean it wasn't the edgework you told him not to talk? Well, testify. My lips were sealed. What was the reason why me to keep quiet about something? There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But you're going to go accuse me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the witness the power of the old bag. You got it, boss. All right. Um. Hold it! Who were the?
these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of their actions scene without, without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked me about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? That was Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright would you like to do the cross-examination. I think I've already asked my last question. Dad, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on that. So you got your bonus and you still talk? Hmm. Yeah, that's all the questions I got to ask. Can you? They were actually in the studio. Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. And don't kill this woman, I swear. <laughs> The defense rests. I'll kill this woman, I swear it. Understand, Your Honor.
I didn't go to Burger Bar. What the fuck? Apparently, I went to Burger Bar sometime today. Or yesterday. So listen, I'm uh, kind of tired. Um, so uh, I will continue this. I will continue this later today, uh, as you guys are seeing. Um, so yeah, I'll continue this later today. I'm tired uh, 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 and uh, drowsy. <gasps> so I'm gonna end the broad I'm gonna end the broadcast here. Thank you guys so much for watching live. Uh, if you didn't watch live and you watched this video, thank you so much. As always, any kind of support is appreciated. And uh, I'll see. And leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Till next time, my name is Lucky Mayo. And I'm signing.